Chaz, arms crossed, ready to battle Love on it. your right. Shaheen. Mulgating. The old weathered veteran, Shaheen. Honestly, if he's playing Ironworks, I hope he's going to five. Wow. I wow. hate, hate Kirkland. We Ironworks. have a hater in the house. Okay, he's on six. It's okay. He's going to scry. Shaheen, uh, he wrote about what he was playing the Invitational in his article today on the select side of StarCityGames.com. Is Blood Moon in his hand? For who? For Shaheen? Chad? He has, I'm pretty sure he has Blood Moon in his sideboard, yeah. What? He wrote about that, he wrote about that on, uh, on his article today. And you can find that over at StarCityGames.com. That's right. Select freebie. Freebie. Nice. He also has like a, he has a Zalifrin Void in his deck. Yeah, that, that land is sweet. I love Zalifrin Void. Well, here we go. Blood Moon, Buried Ruin, Ironworks, Darkstale Citadel. Uh, looks like a Stirrings and a Mox Hopel. Yeah, this hand is very good for six. Uh, with a one-mana artifact off the top, very good chance Shaheen could have cast turn to Blood Moon. But thoughts east from Chaz here are going to disrupt that pretty easily. The question, of course, is what card does Chaz want to take? I mean, he could take that Blood Moon like you mentioned, or he might not even care. Well, I think he needs to care. There's a chance that if he doesn't take Blood Moon, he just gets locked out of playing half of the spells in his deck. But that's one of the strengths of having something like Blood Moon out of the sideboard from Shaheen's side. If your opponent puts a huge emphasis on it, uh, then that allows you to free up your other more important combo elements from those discard effects. Chromatic Star was the draw step. So he gets to play the Citadel, the Star, the Opal, the Stirrings, stir into the Trawler. He's already got the Ironworks in the grip. Yeah, this is fine. This is something that you should be able to do in modern. Definitely not. It's totally yeah, fine. Totally not spend two mana on a 1-2 that totally lets you fine. put in a 4-4. Four, four totally fine. Three. It's totally fine. You know. Everything's fine. This is going to be me all weekend. You and Shaheen, huh, yeah. with this Stoneforge nonsense. Might have to endure this all weekend. Here's a Faithless Suiting from Chaz. He'll draw two cards. He'll be discarding two cards. Building up that graveyard for the Gurmag Angler here. Just a bit. Also found a copy of Thought Scour. Yeah, Faithless Looting uh, and Mishra's Bobbles, not something you would traditionally see in a Grixis Death Shadow deck. However, uh, Ben Freeman really pushing uh, the envelope in, the, in how to build these Grixis Death Shadow decks. Um, and I think that that build is particularly strong right now in uh, Modern. Ben Friedman doing a lot of work on this deck all throughout 2018. Faithless looting, a bunch of other changes, a bunch of sideboard additions, all that good stuff as we head back over to Shaheen. Chaz ending his turn by playing a Scalding Tarn. For Shaheen, it was a powerful turn number one. He has a Grove of the Burn Willows now in his hand, along with that Buried Ruin, the Scrap Trawler, and the Krark Clan Ironworks. Makes me wonder if he wants to crack the star or not, and he will. Get a little bit, maybe. I'm not a huge fan of cracking star just for drawing a card when you already have Scrap Trawler and Ironworks in hand. So I, I don't know what he's really digging for. He's a little unsure of himself as he cracks that. Found a copy of Inventor's Fair, did Shaheen. This does stop his ability to play. I'm curious by this turn. Because like, he can't play Scrap Trawler now. Yeah, he can. He has a man floating. Oh, no, you're right. My bad, my bad. You're right. Okay. Ugh. And then he can play Ironworks next turn. So it doesn't affect his development. That's my bad. Right. But the fact that he sacked the uh, Chromatic Star means that he can't do the Opal Star chain and generate extra mana next turn. Sure. You know, I think for the most part, uh, when I try to pile Ironworks, it's possible that I just don't uh, sequence correctly because I'm unfamiliar with certain lines. And Shaheen playing the deck a lot more than me, I'm not going to question him sacking the star. That I, I'm just going to assume that he knows what he's doing more than I do. So the only reason I'll question him in cracking the star is because he thought about it for a really long time. That's fair. It seemed like he was unsure of himself if he wanted to do that. Now here's here's the real big fish. Yeah, and Chaz here looks like he has two copies of Stubborn Denial in hand too. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really tough for Shaheen to get through this. We're going to head back over to Shaheen now. Old Stubborn Denial and me got a pretty long history. Yep, <laughs> yep. You two have done some nice work. Uh, if you uh, if you go to YouTube, you can watch my flashback from StarCityGames.com wherein I talk about using Stubborn Denial uh, as a bluff when you have a 2-2 Death Shadow. To great effect. Yeah. To great effect, for like, I For like say. five grand. Yes. It was great. Well... Inquisition of Kozak's going to show you a hand of Buried Ruin and Grove of the Burn Willows. Crackline Ironworks got countered 
by Stormer Denial. And we know that Chaz has another copy in his hand. You can see his hand there with the Serum Visions as well. Now he's putting the shields down for a turn, but he drew a copy of Polluted Delta, which means he can put the shields right back up. Maybe a little risky there for that Serum Visions in case Shaheen were to top deck an Ironworks. Yeah, I mean, even if he top decks Ironworks in this particular spot, though, uh, Shaheen doesn't have a lot of food to really go with it. Like, if he sacks Mox Opal for mana, okay, sure. Uh, if he sacks Scrap Trawler, that kind of takes away the engine, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't have... If he had, like, a Mind Stone in the graveyard, and then he could sack Mind Stone to get back, uh, you know, Chromatic Star, Star. Go down the waterfall or whatever and kind of right. go nuts, sure. There is a Delta. Like... Obviously, Ironworks one of the better draws that Shaheen could have in the spot, but not even particularly exciting because he just doesn't have anything to do with it. Hinkle now going to sacrifice the Delta. Yeah, pretty sure Hinkle here is just going to actually use his mana to cast uh, a Gurmag Angler this turn, uh, number two, and then just use Stubborn Denial on the follow-up turn after that. So what I find interesting about this spot is, is I think Chaz has done a nice job of analyzing things, right? Where I think some players would play in such a way that they would leave up the Stubborn Isle here, but he can get more aggressive, play another Angler, and try to cut out turns of this particular game. Because even if Shaheen does draw Ironworks this turn, he did not. He drew something much worse than Ironworks in Pirate Spellbomb. Chaz is saying, like, even if you top deck your best card, I'm still probably okay. Yeah. Very good chance here. Shaheen uh, just plays land for turn and then tries to either sacrifice Buried Rune to get back Ironworks or uses uh, Inventor's Fair to find another one. Pirate Spellbomb's going to come down here in some form or fashion, it looks like. That in tandem with a block from Scrap Trawler, though, can potentially take down one of those Anglers, which yeah. would buy a lot of time for Shaheen. And Shaheen needs to buy some time right now. And also get a card back, too, from the graveyard, which is pretty nice, as Chaz is going to draw a copy of Thoughtseize. Chaz knows what's in Shaheen's hand right now. It's just a copy of Grove of the Burn Willows, so no real reason to fire that off as the two... Zombie Fishes will come on into the red zone. Scrap Trawler is going to jump in front of one. Trigger. Scrap Trawler dies. Return the Chromatic Star. Thought Seize will take care of the star. Very good sequencing from Chaz here. Waiting until after combat to, to cast Thought Seize to make sure he gets to snag that card that got back from Scrap Trawler. Well, let's check Shaheen. How many artifacts do you have, Shaheen? You only got two, so you don't get to trigger the Inventor's Fair and you can't use the Opal. Yeah, maybe a slight misstep from Shaheen. Um, cracking the uh, the Pirate Spell Bomb turned off his Mox Opal, which means he could not use Buried Rune on the end of turn to get back either Scrap Trawler or uh, Carcline Ironworks. I guess, but if he doesn't fire off the Pirate Spell Bomb, right, he doesn't kill the Angler? He can do both, but he just sequences the other white. Sack Buried Rune and then pop the Pirate Spell Bomb. Ah, you're right. It's a good thing you're here. No. Oh. Things happen. It's okay. It's early. It's not that early. Kermak Angler is going to get blocked by Mirror Retriever. Shaheen's going to get back Ironworks. Be interested to see if Shaheen actually goes for the Buried Rune here, too, uh, to get back Scrap Trawler, because if this Ironworks gets countered again, which is 100% going to, uh, you know, the, the Scrap Trawler versus Shadow, not really a fight that Shaheen's winning. Well, I'm curious to see where he wants to go, because he's going to... Uh, he's giving he's giving Chaz some life with the Groves to make sure the Shadow's never good. Yeah. So that makes some sense. He's going to play Ironworks. It's going to get hit by Storm Denial. All right. Now we're going to go back over to Chaz, who gets the opportunity to knock Shaheen down to five this turn. As Chaz has drawn a Bloodstained Mire to go along with the Thought Scour that he has in his hand. I think this is a pretty prime spot to go for a Faithless Looting, but Chaz is going to opt to Thought Scour instead. It's a little more mana efficient. And if you hit a threat off the top, with the Thought Scour, you can still play it, whereas a Faithless Looting, maybe not. Well, he sort of hit a threat. A Shree Wraith? No, he hit a Death Shadow. That's, by definition, it's a threat, Yeah. But, but not really. Yeah, I mean, against two Grow of the Burn Willows, Death Shadow looks pretty bad. This actually comes up a lot in uh, the Legacy Lands versus Death Shadow matchup, where uh, the Lands deck will aggressively tutor for Grow of the Burn Willows to make sure... Death Shadow does not uh, do anything. Chaz trying to search for an island there with Bloodstained Mire, but it'll only be Swamp or Mountain that he can find, so he'll get a Watery Grave instead. That's the old Swamp Island. And that'll yeah. enter the battlefield untapped. Here, uh, Chaz looking to flash back the Faithless Looting, but now he only has one card in hand, so he's not really getting the true value out of that Faithless Looting. Well, he drew a Thought Scour and an Island. Island and Death Shadow go to the graveyard. Thought Scour is the last card in hand. What will Shaheen draw? 
is the question as he will trigger his inventor's fair. Hiltat, did he draw an ironworks? Oh, baby. Wow. Oh, baby. He's got some work to do now, folks. He's got trawler and ironworks in hand. He's rolling up those sleeves because it's time to get those hands dirty, Todd. Yeah, I don't think he can go off necessarily. Like, he's not guaranteed to go off this turn, but that ironworks was the best possible card he could have drawn in this spot. Uh, here he can cast, if he wants to, he can cast ironworks. Uh, he can start sacrificing stuff to play the scrap trawler, but he has one more turn. It's possible he should just wait because he, he wants to make sure he has this trawler on the battlefield uh, and he gets all those triggers from the trawler. Well, he's going to sacrifice Citadel right now. He's thinking, I got some work to do. He's going to get out the mana counters. There's the colorless one. He'll reach for some other ones as well. Looks like maybe green and red. Heck, all of them. Who cares? Two colors floating from the Dark Souls Citadel being sacked to the Ironworks. He'll sack the Mox as well, so he's up to four. Down to one. There's Scrap Trawler. So those are the two pieces that you need to be able to get some work done. Where he goes from here, that's the real question. Yeah, I think he's going to cycle the Chromatic Star with green and get back Mox Opal would be my guess. Uh, just because he needs to see another card. But what's the card he's looking for? I don't know. I don't think there's any one thing that gets him out of it. He has it a chain of things like Chromatic Star uh, to really get things going. Maybe Icar Wellspring is, is a good a yeah. good hit here. Yeah. Doing the waterfall with Icar Wellspring, drawing two cards, very, very strong. All right. So Shaheen looks like he wants to take your line of getting the Chromatic Sphere involved. He's actually going to sack it to Ironworks, not draw a card. Mox. Oh. It looks like maybe I he wants to. See to that. I think he wants to go to Inventor's Fair. Nice. Okay. And then sack this. And so then he's down to a green and a colorless. See, and the, this is, these are the ones that I miss. Mm -hmm. These little interactions. But this is why the Ironworks deck is so good because there's these little uh, interactions you can get where you generate an extra two, four, sometimes six mana that you just don't even see because of uh, how the uh, Scrap Trawler works with uh, all these uh, one, two, and zero mana artifacts. So now, Iker Wellsprings in hand. This is the card that we mentioned that the Shaheen would actually kind of want to draw off of the off of the sphere, but he was able to tutor for it in sense. So now no mana floating, play this, draw a card. Sack this, get two colorless mana, trigger Scrap Trawler, he'll be able to get something back and draw a card. He's gonna get back Chromatic Star, draw a card from the Wellspring dying. He's found another copy of Scrap Trawler, He'll play a star and a terrarian. No mana left. He'll sack the terrarian. Trigger, get back the opal. Two colorless, draw from the terrarian. Picked up a Dark Cell Citadel. He'll play the opal. If I'm not mistaken, he actually hasn't played a land this turn either. I believe that is correct, as now he will play a stirrings off of the opal. Opal has metal craft. Shaheen going to consult his graveyard before making his selection. But I think he may have broken out of this. And I think he's explaining that to Chaz. Is I think I might be clear for takeoff here to try to win this one. And you got to remember, this is a game in which Chaz had not one, but two copies of Stubborn Run. Yeah, and, and multiple copies of Gurmag Angler, which was uh, one of his only real threats that can uh, put pressure on Shaheen through the double Grove of the Burn Willows draw. And I think we're talking three discard spells? Two Inquisitions uh, yeah. and a Thoughtseize? Yeah, the Inquisition did miss the one turn. That was pivotal. What else are you looking for? I don't know. From a draw. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I hate <laughs> Ironworks combo, man. It's so gross. Dude, you got to embrace Ironworks. That's I what mean, I also, said. there's a chance Shaheen just spends the next nine minutes trying to win this turn and fails. That's but, possible. But generates, like, a, an absurd advantage and then just, like, passes the turn, you know? Well, Shaheen right now has two colorless mana floating. He's going to lay out the graveyard to see exactly what he wants to get back from the graveyard. Currently, he only has one draw off of the Chromatic Star to keep things going. Um, in a pinch, he could sacrifice the Scrap Trawler to get back the, uh, the Wellspring, Icar, Icar Wellspring yeah. uh, to get back a Chromatic Star. But he would not have the Scrap Trawler anymore. So, well, okay. Just get back the Wellspring, I guess. Well, Shaheen sacrificed the Star to get a little bit of land action there. Looping, looping Mox is in between. So now you see his hand. And it looks like it's a Mox Opal, a Darksteel Citadel, and a Spire of Industry. 
So now Shaheen's thinking, how do I get to keep going here? Todd, you mentioned the ability for him to sacrifice the Scrap Trawler to get back the Wellspring, which would get him two cards deeper in his deck, but then that means he's without the Scrap Trawler. Yeah, and it's a, an important part of the combo. Uh, alternatively, if he has enough mana, like right now, he has uh, two more mana from the uh, the Mox Opal. He has uh, two mana from the Mox Opal in hand, plus tapping both. So he can go up to 10 mana and then sacrifice the Ironworks up to 12 mana mm -hmm. and get back Wellspring, which gets back two cards and the Chromatic Star. So he can trade uh, three cards uh, for the Ironworks with still just a ton of mana floating. Uh, that would end his like you know current iteration of the combo unless he finds another Ironworks. But it is a way for him to continue drawing cards and looking for more stuff. Well, it looks like he's going to reluctantly sacrifice the Ironworks. And he's reaching for that Wellspring, maybe. Oh, but now he doesn't have a sacrifice Price outlet. outlet. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, Jim. <laughs> What's difficult here is Shaheen's someone who's played this deck for quite a while here in 2018, and even he doesn't know. Now he is. Yeah. Okay. So you saw him use a black die there. Control I think. Control Z. Yeah. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was temporary. He was thinking about it, and I think he probably communicated that with Chaz. It is at least. It is at least my hope that he has done as much, but we will. Uh, we will see. Okay. Looks like we're okay. Communication is important in spots like this, so. And... That's it. Huh. Interesting. Couldn't get where he... He feels like he couldn't get any further. And now, if you're Chaz... You yeah. are ecstatic. Well, you get another turn, which is good. But you've got a Thought Scour that needs to be good. So he's going to target himself. A couple of cards will go to the graveyard. He's drawn a card. I did not get a great look at what he drew. Probably a land. <laughs> the way this has been going. Ever the optimist. It, hey. was, it was a polluted delta. To go along with the Scalding Tarn in hand. He takes a look at his exile pile. You can see his graveyard's fanned out there. What you will not find in the graveyard is a faithful suiting for him to get deeper into his deck. That's unfortunate that... Uh the sequence earlier where uh, he chose to Thought Scour instead of Faithless and I think it's really coming back to bite him. Um, just not having that extra card in hand to be able to filter with the Faithless looting. Chaz is going to play a Scalding Tarn and pass the turn back. Shaheen's down to two. Unsurprisingly, Shaheen, no interest in blocking the Grimag Angle there. He wants the Trawler on the battlefield, and now he's going to really get to work. He'll start things off with a Chromatic Star. He will sacrifice the Star in a moment. Got to make sure you get opals in the grave. Mm-hmm. He'll lay out his mana counters again. I hate this. <laughs> he'll sacrifice. After floating a green with the opal, now he'll sacrifice the star to Ironworks. He's up to four. He'll get back the opal, draw a card there with the chromatic star trigger. Ironworks is in hand. He'll replay the opal. Yeah, this, this should be the end of the game. Drawing the, the second Ironworks allows him to keep an Ironworks on the battlefield while getting back the Mirror Retriever from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. And then he can find some way to go uh, do the infinite loop. So he'll now add a blue man with the Mox, sacrifice the Mox, then play an Ironworks. He's got two colorless. He's up to four since he sacked the Ironworks. He's going to get back Mirror Retriever, as you mentioned, Todd. Mirror Retriever is now in hand. Play Mirror Retriever. He'll sacrifice Mirror Retriever, go up to four mana. Yeah, and that lets them get back any artifact with their Retriever ability and then also a one-mana artifact with uh, the Scrap Trial ability. And that creates uh, not a permanent loop yet, I don't think, because it, it, you don't... I think you're breaking even on mana. I guess you draw your deck, so... Yeah. Okay. You know what? That's fine. I don't care. That is going to do it. Shaheen Serrani is going to win this game of match over Chaz Hinkle. Two games to one. Ironworks is going to take care of Grixis Death Shadow, a matchup that you felt was pretty good going in when we walked through this game three. And if you're Chaz, you can't be on.